What are the three best hair serums for hair growth? Because let's face it, about 80% of men and 50% of women battle hair loss during some time in their life. And many of us invest a significant amount of time and money trying to find a solution. And while I get it, the factors behind hair loss are wide ranging with oftentimes there not being just one single root cause to it because hormones, genes, and lifestyle factors can all contribute. Not to forget to mention DHT, microcirculation, and IRNA 22 levels. In this video, I'm actually gonna talk about three serums that can help support your journey to getting your hair back so let's get started. Also, real quick before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe if you like this type of content, and let's get started. Now, if you've been with the channel, you've probably already known that I made a video on the three best hair oils for hair growth, which surprisingly did really well, and you guys loved it, which I encourage you to watch after this one. This video, instead of oils, we're gonna talk about serums, and the reason why hair serums can be beneficial is because of two things. Two main takeaways I want you to get out of this video. The first, serums can encourage a nutrient-rich environment on the scalp just right enough to activate blood vessels to carry oxygen to the follicle's root and then accelerate hair growth. Secondly, certain serums can also plump up the hair cuticle giving the appearance of thicker hair. So that is how we're gonna use these effects to our advantage. And one other thing I wanna point out is that, and I feel like no one really ever talks about, which I think is unfair, and I think is super important to, to disclose, if the hair follicles are beyond repair or simply gone, the best you can hope for is the stabilization of the hair loss. For these products to work, there must be a viable hair follicle under, under the skin. And I get that it can be tricky to gauge because just because there's no visible hair, it doesn't mean that your hair follicle is gone. Oftentimes, even a visibly completely bald scalp has some peach fuzz, which means the follicles are still there, which is a good thing, but they're in a, just in a different stage of follicle miniaturization as well as hair. So if that's the case, what's the first serum that you can go with? The first in my opinion, and none of these are sponsored, but I did leave my links for them down below, which you can check out, is the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. What I like about it is that it's clinically tested, cruelty-free, vegan, and color safe. And what I like even more is that it's a multitasker. And for hair growth, we need multitaskers. Three powerful ingredients in it that stand out. What are they? Curcumin stem cell extract, which is interesting because every year there seems to be new research on curcumin. Its role in lowering DHT was seen in this paper. Secondly, it contains red clover, which is awesome because one of the components of red clover is formononeatin, which in this study shows it demonstrated that formononeatin exerted the hair regrowth effect on hair loss through fast and fast L-induced cast space activation thus inhibiting apoptosis. And lastly, it contains mung bean of all things, which is unique, I must say, because mung bean contains copper, which is essential nutrition for the scalp. And with this one, it's a leave-on product. You can use it day and night, ideally on dry hair, apply it evenly and massage it into your scalp with your fingertips. And you should expect to see thicker, fuller looking hair in about three months with more density by four months their website claims up to 52% more density and 76% less shedding, which is interesting. I mean, really overall good product, but let's get to the second one. The Divi Scalp Serum. This one's nice in that it's lightweight and infused with a blend of multiple amino acids and peptides, like I said, creating a healthy environment for hair to grow. Also like Vegamore, it's cruelty-free, vegan, derm-tested, and three ingredients that immediately stand out to me. The first one, which I think is very unique, being the copper tripeptide one. A quick fact about copper tripeptide one is that during World War II, they used it to help accelerate the healing of burn victims. We have research showing how it stimulates the proliferation of dermal fibroblasts and increases the production of vascular endothelial growth factor, which can be great for hair. So when you apply it to your scalp, not only has it been seen to be a potential increase in hair follicle size, but can also stimulate blood flow. And this is why exactly you see Vegamore use mung bean being rich in copper. Secondly, this product uses caffeine, which has those anti-inflammatory properties, and they may help elongate the hair follicle as well, and tea tree oil to remove buildup. Because if you could somehow unclog the pores on your scalp, 
This will also allow thicker and healthier hair to grow too. So you gotta love those multitaskers. And with this one, it's also a leave-on product. You can use it in the morning and night on dry hair, shake it well and use three-fourths of a dropper to the area you want to grow thin and massage it in and leave it to soak in. Yep, also another great product. But let's get to the third one. This one is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. Multi-peptide, multitasking. In fact, I actually made a separate video on it that goes in depth about this serum that you can actually watch here. Basically, it's a water-based formula that contains three key peptide technologies. You got Raydensil, Procapil, and Bicapil, which the ordinary says can target stem cells and increase blood flow to the scalp. This is huge, right? Because we know that subcutaneous blood flow helps in the antigen phase of the hair, making them grow longer. So let's break them down. The Raydensil helps to rebalance hair's natural growth cycle to promote hair growth rather than hair loss. The Procapil, which does two things, it works to help prevent the effects of DHT and also stimulates circulation in the scalp so that hair follicles are well nourished for growth to take place. And lastly, the Bicapil, which increases and focuses on the density. There are other few ingredients in here that I also like besides the peptides, like the caffeine in it, which we know that caffeine which I forgot to mention earlier, actually alleviates UVR induced hair follicle damage as well as stimulating blood flow to the scalp. You also find castor oil, which I'm sure you know is already super great. So from an ingredient standpoint, it honestly does look pretty solid. And in terms of how to use it, for best results, the brand says to apply a few drops onto dry, clean hair every night, followed by massaging it into the scalp. It's a leave-on treatment, so make sure not to wash it off your hair or scalp afterwards. And this is same with all the ones I mentioned. Leave it on, otherwise you won't get the results. But I'm more curious to actually hear from you guys though. What are your thoughts on hair serums? Let me know in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button too if you found any value in this. And I'll see you on the next one.